Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Welcome to video number six of my new series called One Handgun, One Shotgun, and One Rifle. The handgun that I'm featuring today is a SAR-9. Imported by SAR USA, this gun embodies the characteristics of two famous gun makers. The lower in the frame is all HK. It has interchangeable back straps, and grip panels that resemble an HKP30. I've got two of them, and let me tell you something, I get the same feeling when I grip this SAR-9. Does it have a 1913 reel there? And the slide reminds me of Glock. Kind of squared off, a little boxy, and the combination together is pretty awesome. It's a budget gun, selling for under 300 bucks right now, and I've only heard good things about them. I've enjoyed this since I've owned it. Let's see how it fires. Like that rabbit. Yeah, there it is. SAR-9. Budget gun. Works really well. Now let's check out that shotgun. The shotgun that I'm featuring today is not a shotgun at all. It's actually a 12 gauge firearm. Because the overall length is 26 and a half inches, it's categorized as a firearm that shoots 12 gauge. And this is a semi-auto version made by Remington called the V3 TAC-13. It has a 13 inch vented rib cylinder bore barrel. You can see that it has a barrel clamp there. Shockwave bird's head pistol grip. It has a VersaPort gas system that allows it to uh, reduce recoil quite a bit and also it cycles everything from the, the cheap light loads to the heavy duty buck shots and slugs. I put it all through this and it's functioned just fine. I, I think with the size it offers and the load it fires it's pretty awesome. You can shoot from the hip, you can shoot here, you can extend your arms out. It doesn't matter. This thing is pretty cool so let me go ahead and take the safety off and see how it does we'll start out from the hip here a little high there we go wow yeah okay and uh there it is no i controlled that pretty well i flinched a little bit at the end but this hand strap makes a world of difference when you know, controlling it, and I felt in complete control the whole time. Love the V3 TAC-13, now let's check out that rifle. The rifle that I'm featuring today, I know what you're thinking, it's a P90. It's not a P90, <laughs> it's a P90 copy made by High Tower Armory called a 90. 22. This is actually a Ruger 1022 with a bullpup kit made by High Tower Armory. This is the firearm that the Washington Post said was a high-powered firearm, high-powered rifle when I was shooting this suppressed. This is not suppressed, that's just a barrel cover, but check that out. It takes Ruger BX22 mags or High Tower makes their own mags. Uh, RRM 22s that hold 25 rounds, maybe RM 25s. These are sweet though. Very nice setup. Rails all over the place. Extra rounds up top for storage. It has two safeties, a cross bolt safety there and a trigger safety. So this, this thing's just a lot of fun. Great firearm to train with and it has performed well. I've owned it for quite a while now and I've always enjoyed it and I, I still do to this day. Now the the optic is a Vortex Spark but I allowed that that uh, battery to die out on me so I'm kind of just eyeballing it here. Let's see how I do. Oh there we go. What happened? Dud. And I believe that is out. Yeah, that's it. So, you know, for a, a, a 22 long rifle, I don't know that you get much cooler than this, but it sure is a lot of fun, and you can't go wrong with the size. Hey guys, thanks for watching video number six of my new series called One Handgun, One Shotgun, and One Rifle. If you like videos like this, please subscribe. 
and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.